Hey, Drew James here from LearnGuitarInLondon.com. I hope you're having a great day. So why I've got such a wonderfully positive, optimistic song, I can see clearly now, uh, which has just so stood the test of time as just being a really lovely, happy song. And I'm doing it in a fingerstyle arrangement. So a couple of things you need to know about this lesson. Number one, this lesson has free tabs. So I do recommend that you go and get the tab from the student area of my site. It just takes a name and email address to join. Also, this has a little bit more to it. It's got that midsection that happens uh, after the main chorus. Uh, and that's gonna be in part two of this video. And you can get part two of the video also at the student area of my site. You'll just see it there in the part two. As I said, completely free to get it. Just takes a name and email address. Uh, so let's get starting learning how to play it. Also, if you do like it, give it a thumbs up on the video. Keep on playing and let's get started. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll always do um, two bars of the music. So hopefully you've got the tab from learnguitarinlondon.com. Um, and I'll sort of do two bars, then show you how I'm doing them and do that throughout the tune. Here's the beginning then. Okay, so we're starting with our common all garden D chord. So that's index finger on fret two on the G string, Eddie 8 Dynamite, Good by Eddie. Middle finger on the E string on the thinnest string, um, thinnest string, <laughs> E string on second fret, and ring finger on the third fret on the B string. And you're gonna pick down that D chord. Now with the right hand, this is a finger style guitar, so I like to use the rule of the thumb plays the top three strings, index plays string four, middle finger plays string five or B, and ring finger plays string six or E. So we're going to go thumb on D, index, middle, index. That's the first half, whilst you're holding down your D chord. Then you're going to pinch the D and the B. Then open E, then second fret on E. So you're going to lift up your middle off the D chord and then put it back on the thinnest string. Good. Now from here, you're going to change to like a folk G, so it's a four finger G, but I'm just going to show you a quick way of doing it. Leave the ring finger where it is from the D chord, put the little finger underneath on fret three on the thinner string, and cram your middle finger on top on the third fret on the thickest string, and pinch the top and bottom strings. Then in the music you'll see there's these two threes, and then it kind of goes into the next bar in brackets. That just means hold into the next bar, don't re-pinch. Then index finger on fret two on the thinner string. And then pinching on an open string with the thicker string on third fret. So I'm trying not to lift up that middle finger the whole time. Or this ring finger ideally, because we need that three as well afterwards. So really the ring finger stays down the whole time. See, that hasn't moved throughout all of that. And we're then back to our D chord, pinching the D and the E string. And then I'll move into the next bar. So it's kind of a reprise, you know, it's stuff that we've already done. So third fret on the B string, then pinching the middle two strings. So that's giving us a zero on the string and a two with our D chord on this one. And then we're going to pick our D chord, so D, G, B. And then into the next bar, we're doing our D, D, G, B, G, just like before. And in fact, this is actually the same as bar one. So you've done all this before. And that's all the same as well. The only difference is into bar five, you then, so you do the three, you then re-pinch the threes, thickest and thinnest string, then second fret, and then open. So that's two, zero, using the ring finger to play. Next two bars. So what am I doing there? Okay, so I'll do it slowly. Okay, so we've got 2nd fret on the B string, 
pinching with the A string, so that's a two strings that we're pulling at the same time. Then third fret on the B, then open on A and E, then back to our D chord, so that's second fret on the G string and third fret on the B, playing D string, playing the two, and then the middle finger playing the three, then back to the two. Into the next bar, play the A string, then, so thumb, index, middle, index, so that's A string, D, G, D, all the while leaving this D chord down. Now, I'm, you may notice I'm not putting my middle finger for the D chord, simply because we don't need it and I don't want to clutter it. Okay, so let's do that again. Then strum an A chord. Now, if you don't know an A, it's second fret on the D, G, and the B string. I used to use my middle, I like to use my middle ring and pinky. Strum the middle four strings with the side of your thumb. So it's... Okay. So I think that's a good place to summarize and just talk a little bit about the rhythm. So I'm going to do bars one to seven. Okay, so it's a good time to summarise because what's going to happen coming up is there's going to be a lot of repeating, okay? Um, so the rhythm in this tune, there is parts what we call syncopation, which is where the rhythm isn't landing on the downbeats and it makes it a little harder to play. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and... So especially bars two and three are very syncopated and then you sort of come back in the beat on four. It's hard for me to do the timing and the count. Anyway, into bars eight and nine. So eight and nine is the same as one and two. So we've done all that already. And bars 10 and 11, well, no, sorry, bars 10 is the same as bar three. So you've done all this stuff before. I've already taught this to you. So we've got this, this is eight. Sorry. Okay, so they're all exactly the same. It's only bar 11 where things get a little bit different. So we're sticking with our D chord. I'll do a bars 11 and 12. So stick with your D, thumb on the D string, index on G, middle, index on G. Then pinching the middle two strings, that's the D and the G string on second fret. Then playing two again by itself and then pinching the middle two strings. All the while leaving this two held down on the D string. So bar 11. Then quick as you can into a C chord. That's third fret on the A string, middle finger on the second fret on the D string, and index finger on first fret on the B string. Pinching the A and the B string, pulling the two strings at the same time. Then thumb on D and index, that'll give you that two. And index on G. Then middle index D. So as long as you've got your C chord held down, the numbers on the tab will take care of themselves. You just concentrate on the fingers you're using on your picking hand. Okay. So those two bars again, 11 and 12. And let's do the next um, two bars. So, 13. Third fret on the thickest string to give us a G note. Playing that with the open B string on the middle finger. Then move thumb down to D, then open on G. All zeros. Then the same pinch as we had before, that's the E and the B string. Then third fret, which I like to use my pinky for on that, um, on here. Third fret on B and then open on E. 
and that is a triplet rhythm. So we go one, two, and triplet. One, two, and triplet. Into our D chord again, pinching D and B string, then index finger on G, open D, G. And the rhythm there is one and two and three and four and whispering the three because you're holding that. And then 15 is the same as 11 and 16 is the same as 12. You'll hear what I mean in a minute. And then the next two bars are the same as 13 and 14. Okay, good, good so far. So from there, you would go back to the intro, right? So what does that mean? That means you're basically going round back to the beginning. So this is 17. Round a circle. Okay, that then leads us into the midsection, which you will find in part two of this video, which is available for free over at the student area. There's a link in the video so you can sign up and get that. I'll see you for part two.